Taurus, what's up? This is going to be your rest of November money, money, money reading. I don't know why I said money like that, but money reading is what I want to say and how I want to say it. <sighs> you might be too hung up on money, um, Taurus, or just kind of really caught up um, in your career, your finances, um, your business and so much so, so to the point where you're like you, you're not knowing how to relax or kind of just take a break and like you know give yourself some ease it's a quarantine year like maybe have a little bit more fun maybe be a little bit more lackadaisical don't sabotage your bag but um, I'm getting just like kind of ease up a little bit like loosen the reins and definitely don't let money get in the way of all the different other uh you know, focuses of your life, whether it be relationship or just the different areas and sectors of your life. Look up the birth natal chart, the 12 sectors of the birth natal chart to see what I'm referring to. I also offer an astrological um, sector reading, which uh, pulls cards for all 12 of the houses in your uh, zodiac chart. So feel free to book one of those readings. Um, it can be applied for the rest of the year. 2021 and or you know just where you're at in life and the highest possible messages that you need to hear for those areas of your life again we sometimes get caught up in just the money and love aspects of our lives but there are uh, a bunch of other facets of our life 12 sectors in particular that the astrological natal chart um, houses speak to so look that up and holler at your boy if you're interested uh, feel free to like, share, follow across all social media. Leave a comment below if these readings resonate. Um, and yeah, holler at your boy for a one-on-one -on -one reading. My website, runandguntarot.com, features my reading rate and all the available tarot, tarot spreads and prices that I have out there for you currently. Patreon subscribers get reduced rates as well. Taurus, let's jump into your rest of November money, finance, career, and business reading and or timeless when you come across this Taurus. So we're at 11 light highest possible messages for Taurus, rest of November money. <clears throat> okay, so there's going to be a, res a reciprocal response um, from either the universe, the cosmos, um, energies around you, individuals, peoples, or peoples around you, people around you. Um, sixes are about harmony and balance. Uh, this is Libra energy. So the scales are even. You could have been in a position where you're investing, you're giving, you're giving more of yourself, you're providing more of yourself. But I'm finally seeing that, you know, as I read this Ace of Pentacles in reverse as an investment, probably from you and or resources from the divine, you're putting them or you could be investing them into a person, place, institution, individual in which you're going to actually finally see reciprocity. And I think that this is being highlighted because in the past you weren't seeing that equal shake that equal give and take give and receive energy that you kind of longed for taurus uh and again it could be in a significant other and or other forms of relationships your love reading was really good so check that out and i think your love and money is actually kind of connected as the planet uh, venus kind of rules those sectors in your life like i said sectors uh you know the astrological houses speak to that the planets also speak to that Mars is moving direct, so you're probably going to, uh, as well as Mercury, so the planet of action and communication, uh, Mars and Mercury are moving direct recently. Um, don't quote me on the Mars, you might have to look that up to see when exactly that goes direct, but I fancy that I've uh, heard recently that Mercury is going direct, so look for communication to finally pick up, and uh, especially in regards to money, we should see some... Uh, leaps and bounds and growth and progress for anything that you may have been working on and or uh, kind of sealing the finer details on and uh, restructuring when those two planets were in retrograde recently. Yeah, you're getting your wish fulfillment again. Uh, like I said, with your love reading, this popped up. So in money as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, again, I think that has to do with that harmony, that reciprocity. Um, I'm sensing that it is going to be tied into a partner. Uh, you were very adamant. You were very, uh, you know, uh, passionate about um, 
you know, finding this balance, finding whatever this wish was. That's what the Knight of Wands in reverse is. This is like unchecked aggression. And I'm finally getting that you're able to put this somewhere. Um, hopefully you're not taking it out on uh, anyone around you, but this is also like my workout card. So if you do have any extra energy, feel free to blow off steam and channel that healthily. It's going to help you continue to pull in and or gravitate and radiate in this uh, Nine of Cups wish fulfillment energy. This is the card of trophies, stacking up victories, stacking up an impeccable resume. Something that you could really look back upon and be proud of, Taurus. So whatever it is in money, you're going to have this harmony and balance and reciprocity. And just another solid victory. Again, as long as you keep your uh, unchecked uh, aggressions uh, you know, in line and make sure not to get too impatient. It's coming. It's right around the corner, Taurus. And uh, like I said, if you have any uh, investment ideas or considerations... Um, again, you're going to want to look for that reciprocity and when you find the best match and fit for you, even if it's just investing your time in a person or a place or an institution or a group of people, um, that, that equal give and take and that fairness is going to be key to your success in regards to, again, money, career, finance, business, and your abundance overall. Um, yeah, you, I, I see that, that, that wish fulfillment you're going to be able to hang this uh, banner in the rafters uh, whatever it is that's coming in for you Taurus I see it good for the rest of November anyway nine of swords you could again be overthinking it but try to focus on what you can take a uh, action upon right now uh, with this nine of wands in, in reverse uh, the number nine here is in the homestead so you could be quite literally kind of worrying up late at night but there's no use in beating yourself up or, you know, trying to think yourself outside the box. Um, best way to get out is just to, you know, get out and uh, take action. This is virtue and value. This is your highest priorities first, okay, in your life. Uh, concretely, are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of your rest, your sleep, your health, your diet? These are all going to help, um, you know, kind of magnetize and gravitate that abundance into your life, Taurus. So don't forget that old one-two punch, okay? Don't take it for granted. Don't get too fancy so as to kind of lose sight of those main staples that we need to take care of on the day-to-day -day so as to facilitate our success and abundance. Um, Spirit, anything else for Taurus? Yeah, I see that Ten of Pentacles is legacy and stability. This is the cornerstone to, bi to, to, to build big generational wealth upon, generational inheritance, the, the, the boat, the car, the keys to, you know, uh, you know the house. And uh, something concretely showing up. Three of Wands is a little questionable. I'm getting that it might take a little bit more time than you're kind of, you know, having first... Uh, you know, thought it would um, take. Three of Wands is typically um, either setting sail for new horizons and or waiting for your ships to come in, but I'm getting that you're moving more so in the energy of planning and strategizing to finally being able to be receptive. So just a little bit more planning and strategizing and setting things up and tailoring things for this long-term success. But this long-term Ten of Pentacles success, again, again, you know, generational wealth, inheritance, uh, 401k, health benefits, is really being sturdy and set up. And um, for that stability, um, to be able to enjoy yourself as well, not just to build it and hand it on to the next generation, but to actually kind of live that that abundant Ten of Pentacle life. Um, again, I'm, I'm getting that you're kind of, you know, being um, hard on yourself in regards to the timing mechanisms because it is a quarantine year. So it's going to it's gonna have a little bit of a halt to it. King of Wands is about taking action, uh, logical and reason, as in, as in this deck they hold up swords. So you're adding not only passion and fire and action and kickstarter energy with that King of Wands here, a master of action, optimal judo move, but you're also applying that logic and reason and kind of framing uh, that things aren't going to go necessarily as planned, especially this year around. You might feel that this is unjust and not fair. You've worked your butt off. You've already kind of paid your dues. Why am I not getting mine in right now? That's what I'm getting with this three of wands in reverse. But you got to believe in that in that higher cosmic divine timing, that kairos, that God's plan. 
energy that this is going to be for your highest optimal good as well as the good of those around you. This is a little bit of sneaky strategizing energy. Okay, you might be uh, getting away with more than uh, than you need to, Taurus, um, while you can uh, in regards to work. Just try not to let this energy kind of blind you. Okay, sometimes we get ahead of ourselves and we uh, we get sloppy and or we think that we're not being kind of seen, but we end up getting kind of um, kind of seen through. Uh, this is in regards to work, quality craftsmanship, try not to cut corners, try not to get sloppy with anything, okay? Stay try and true, because again, there's no energy gain or loss um, karmically and energetically in the universe. So if you are cutting corners, they're going to creep back up and bite you in the butt. Try not to do that. Taurus, this is disaster averted. This is maintaining your number one spot, king of the hill, a leverage point, defending, standing up for what, what's yours. Again, uh, action based, action first, action over words, okay, and action over thoughts. Uh, you kind of standing up for yourself and de defending your kind of abundance and what you've earned and garnered in your life, um, money, career, financially uh, wise um, is going to help you uh, avoid disaster. Okay, so this is not resting on your laurels, not getting too sloppy, treating every day as if it's your first, treating every day as if you truly are grateful and thankful at the opportunity that you have to work and to kind of fulfill the prophecy of, uh, you know, the abundance that is, uh, that is uh, due to you. The tower card in reverse is disaster averted. So kind of zigging when you should have zagged, hopefully it will pay off. Again, if it's a matter of getting caught being sneaky or lying or cheating or stealing, best to avoid this energy, to avoid anything coming back around or blowing up in your face. Just a precautionary tale, um, not set in stone. Um, I don't read with any fear mongering, so I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but this is just a little warning sign from Spirit in the Universe in regards to your finances. Spirit of Love and Light, anything else that Taurus needs to know? Most important messages in conclusion. Seven of Pentacles is growing something. Again, more of that long-lasting energy. Okay, that harvest energy, that planting the seed, tilling the soil, feeding the crops, growing it, you know, and uh, kind of reaping your harvest. But uh, this might take some kind of like branching out on a limb, taking a leap of faith. Don't be too kind of married to this uh, traditional way of doing things in regards to finances and your career. Don't be afraid to possibly start your own business or strike out in you. There's not a better time to do it than now. And uh, you could uh, kind of be seeing the extra spark, that extra kick or that extra income, that stream of revenue that's going to help you get to those Ten of Pentacles that we saw earlier. But the fool in reverse is kind of hesitant and reticent to trust, to take a leap of faith, calculated risk anyway, to uh, start trying to plant and grow something peripherally that's going to kind of help with the cause. The main cause being abundance and legacy and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, don't be too uh, tight edge. Don't be too... Um, too careful and uh, calculated i know i just said not to get sloppy but i think there's you know th these messages are kind of they're not mutually exclusive there's you know a way to be kind of forefronting and trailblazing in uh trying to you know start a new stream of income versus you know cutting corners with what you're doing right now so i think those are two separate messages but um, again, in all these areas, if you kind of like heed these messages and you're going to be able to like, you know, harmonize and create this perfect symphony. And they say it's eight streams of revenue and income that um, eight streams of uh, income that uh, that most millionaires typically have. So if you haven't figured that out yet, you know, hit that pen and pad and write those those streams of revenue that you're willing to work on and. Uh, you know, before you know it, you're going to be at that Ten of Pentacles, Taurus. So don't be afraid to think outside the box uh, in regards to, to that um, way of thinking. And uh, like I said, uh, leave a comment um, below if this resonated at all. If you want to share your story, I love interacting with you guys. And um, excuse me, I appreciate your time and energy. And um, 
I can't do this without you guys. So uh, holler at your boy. This was a general reading. It's not going to perfectly resonate with you, but I hope you were able to get some gems from it. Taurus, it's been a pleasure. Holler at your boy for more. Peace.